Enough to look. All right, how are you? Enjoy. Well, basically, uh, the squad two was available against uh, Everton is available, and uh, for the rest, uh, decisions will be made. Who will uh, come in or not? Uh, I will make my decision tomorrow. But overall, everybody is available. Everybody who played on uh, Tuesday night is available as well. The only uh, players who are not completely back are, of course, Mustafi and uh, Welbeck. Uh, but don't forget Callum anybody. Chambers Sorry? Callum Chambers and uh, uh, Callum Chambers is back in training, after full training on uh, Monday. And Ospina has a chance to be available against Belgrade. He will not be available for Saturday. Just on Swansea, uh, they've only conceded one goal away from home in the Premier League this season. How much did Tuesday's game against uh, an organised side such as Norwich help you prepare for this game? Look, Norwich played very well defensively and we uh, struggled to create clear-cut chances and uh, that will certainly be uh, the target for us. We created good chances uh, against Everton uh, by playing at a high pace, so the focus will be to put a high pace into the game and uh, try to create uh, chances and be positive again. We should have a little boost in confidence with the number of goals we scored at Everton, but uh, we need to be on our highly focused. Uh, this is an um, important game for us. It's another chance to see Ozil, Lacazette and Alexis up front as well. They can uh, create chances, they can score goals, but I believe as well that uh, uh, up front you depend a lot on the quality of the build-up at the back and uh, at home uh, the speed of our passing will be absolutely important to, to create chances. Okay. Arsene, just come out of the AGM, there's a lot of anger in the room towards the end, there were boos, there were slow hand claps. Um, how much is it concerning to see that animosity between the, the, the hardcore supporters and the board and the chairman in particular? Look, you want everybody to support the club, I believe it's uh, difficult for me to come out on that. I, uh, I think uh, all of us have the same target, is to make Arsenal successful and uh, that's basically what I have to say. But the, the fans really wanted to hear from, from Stan Kroenke, they said it before, they wrote an open letter as well. Can you understand why they want to hear from him? And was it dismissive of Sir Chips to say that if they want to hear from him they can read about it in the papers? Uh, no, it was not mean, uh, meant to be dismissive at all, it's just that the chairman represents the board and answers the question, that's the rule, that is set before the, the meeting starts. Was that the best way to represent the board? Before? Look, uh, everybody has his judgment. I am uh, concerned about the pre-match press conference for, for Swansea, not so much to assess the, the quality of the AGM. Just, just on that though, you, you spoke to the AGM about your, your hunger being greater than ever, but you also spoke about the concentration of, of wealth. Does that make, make it more difficult, in spite of your hunger, to achieve what you want? To yes, it makes it more difficult, because uh, we all agree on, on that, and I think that's not only in football, it's, uh, it's generally in a society, it's a concern for everybody. Today you have the big, four biggest companies that uh, uh, dominate the world economy, you know, so uh, it is a concentration of uh, the, the strength of the power, financial power, in football and in general in the society. That's what uh, concerns every, people in general as well in a society. You spoke also about um, the importance of, of bringing your young players, giving the opportunity. <coughs> we saw, of course, uh, Edwin Nketiah this week. Can we expect to see him involved then this weekend? Or will he continue to get a chance? Have he shown himself at the back? He will continue to get the chance. Uh, at the moment, uh, I believe as well, my... Uh, the biggest problem of the Premier League. If you look at the results uh, at the youth level now, we're under 17 again with England, you know, you see we're under 20, world champion, we're under 21 are doing well. It's the first time since I'm in England, and it's a long time that you have a consistent level of results in the youth teams, you know. That means uh, the quality is there, and the next step is to integrate them in the Premier League. And you're right, uh, uh, we are confronted as managers today 
our position, uh, the positions in general of the managers has become weaker than 20 years ago. But uh, uh, the to integrate the young players, you need to be strong. And uh, that is a problem that England will have to sort out in, a in the coming years. Give a chance to these young quality players. And uh, uh, honestly, I believe that is a final step of the development of a young place, but as well the most difficult. Can you see him playing a significant role this season? In yeah, of course, uh, if he continues to develop. It's, it's, uh, it is uh, two things. You cannot as well think, uh, because a guy scored two goals, that he is straight away uh, ready to play in the Premier League. But as well, uh, uh, you have to continue to develop. And if he scores two goals, there is some quality there that you have to take care of. Just got the other end of the scale. Um, one of your former players, Ian Wright, has suggested that uh, Theo Walcott should move on. He's only played 46 minutes in the Premier League this season. He hasn't been starting. Is that at 28 years old? Should he be thinking that? No, I do not want Theo uh, to move on. I, uh, his time for in the Premier League will come. All these guys, you look at the number of minutes they played uh, since the start of the season. There's quite uh, a big number of minutes they played. But uh, I've gone into a rotation policy because we play Thursday, Sunday most of the time, and uh, so. Uh, at the moment, uh, he has got less minutes in the Premier League than, uh, than in other competitions. Yes. Um, the performance at Everton last week was your best for possibly the whole season for, for a while. Is that what you need to now achieve at every game? To challenge? Yeah, we have uh, no room for, for uh, missing games anymore because we have uh, had some bad results away from home. but. Uh, uh, I believe uh, I always said that we are capable to win away games, but uh, we need as well to keep at home. Our record is uh, 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 impeccable, you know, and we need to keep that. And we know what from uh, Everton game that we can win away from home. That was very important. Those and Sanchez both scored as well. Does that back up your, your faith that from the beginning of the season they, that they will give you everything to? Look, uh, I, I don't. What I, uh, what people questioned is their commitment. To, uh, to the team and the club. I didn't, and uh, uh, what happens on Sunday uh, reinforces my belief even more. And uh, what you want from them is to, to show that uh, week in, week out. And finally, on the, on the youth, integrating them into the Premier League, um, you've always done that, but do you think that there should be some sort of quota I'm against the quota because uh, I've seen that uh, in my career many times and it never worked. Why? Because people get around it, you know. I've, I, I remember in some countries they had uh, forced uh, to start with three under 21 players and after five minutes they took them off straight away, you know. So uh, that makes uh, uh, it ridiculous. I, I believe you have to earn your right to play and the managers have to be strong enough to play them when they deserve to play. Well, Arsene, just a couple more about the AGM. Were you genuinely shocked by the, the level of dissent that you heard? I have nothing to add to that now because uh, I believe uh, uh, you get enough substance to talk about that and I want more to focus on, uh, on uh, sun Saturday's game. Is Mesut Ozil, do you think, back to his best? He is uh, in a very good shape at the moment, physically, yes, and uh, and is focused, motivated, so I would say yes. Do you think that the physical side of it was, in a, in a way, the biggest reason why he wasn't necessarily producing his best football? Yeah, he had, uh, he had a knee problem, and uh, that was not a massive problem, but uh, you never know how much it uh, affects the guys, you know, we are all different in front of that. How pleased are you to see Claude Puel back in the Premier League? Do you think Leicester have made a good appointment? Yeah, they made a good appointment and uh, Claude Puel is competent, he's a worker, he's uh, highly focused and I'm sure that uh, he will uh, continue, he will develop Leicester. James, also just to clarify one thing you said at the AGM, the, the quote I think was, I'll sit down every year with my board to <laughs> see where I go from there. Does, does that mean there's a review at the end of the season about your position? That means uh, I, I'm 21 years at the club and I want to feel that I do well and, uh, and see what the board thinks of my uh, performance and after that we, we decide where we go from. But of course my desire has always been to respect my contracts but uh, 
That's what I meant, you know. So, th so that will happen at the end of the season? Uh, I said what I said, and I stand to that, you know, it is a... Uh... Okay, just on, um, on the football side, um, at Everton, Sanchez, Erzl and Lacazette, that was the first time they played together. Is that, do you think, the way forward for the Premier League team? Look, uh, they were efficient at Everton. Uh, they have to be efficient again on Saturday. There's no uh, definite solution. We are in a job where competition counts, and uh, uh, if it works, they have to make it work to keep that position. Has it been frustrating for you at all that you haven't been able to put them together until now? You want always everybody available in the best possible shape, and uh, of course, when you miss people, uh, it, it is frustrating. Thank you very much. Thank you. We finished? Yeah, just did the newspapers quickly. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We'll just do the newspapers outside. I'll see you.